Okay, come on. Goodness. <laughs> oh, puff, 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 puff. Well, we are, we're moving at least. So Jeff got over and his refrigerator had stopped running. It was the, the cigarette lighter socket that he had. It was passing some voltage, but not full voltage. Like my test light was showing a weak, a weak light. Um, so that took us like, I don't know, two hours to figure out. <laughs> He's back behind me. He's got to stop at Walmart and pick up some food for Bear, and then we're clear to go. I think it's like 1 p.m. now, but at least the sun is out now. It's a way nicer day than it was this morning. Well, we just passed the 60-mile uh, mark. We're actually at 65 miles, so the rear end failed before at 64 miles. So we just hit 65 miles. We stopped at a rest stop, you know, only after putting on like 15 miles and I reached up under and felt the differential and it's it's warm, but then Jeff Jeff felt it and then he felt his differential on the Jeep and he said they're the same, they're both the same temperature. And I've never like, I have no baseline. I never felt my differential before, so I don't have anything to go by as far as how, how warm should it be, you know? I mean, we're going 60 miles an hour. I'm not going any faster than 60 until I feel more comfortable. I think he's getting the hang of it again. We're going up a long uphill right now. have stopped for the night we're in Ohio I was a little frustrated I was targeting the Ohio Welcome Center when you first cross into Ohio and it was closed it's a great rest stop as soon as we passed that and saw that it was closed I saw the sign that was like the next rest stop 45 miles and I was already kind of gassed at that point and had to drive another 45 miles but we came a couple exits and there was um, there's a Loves and a Pilot, I think. So we're parked back here. Uh, we decided just to get off here and stay. So 
Jeff's going in to get himself some Burger King and I'm gonna make some ground beef soup. I've been thinking about that all afternoon. We'll see y'all in the morning. Right, puppy? You want your dinner? Okay. truck stop in Ohio. It's windy. Kind of woke me up on and off through the night. So I got to decide, you know, I got to look at the weather and see if it's going to continue to be windy or if it's supposed to fall off and the direction we're going. I don't like driving in the wind. The truck, yesterday it was breezy in the drive and I know the truck handles so much better like the wind yesterday was strong enough that it would have been blowing me all around before doing the work on the truck it, it's driving so much better one thing that I noticed I, when I drive I periodically flip on the backup camera and I watch the bike to make sure it's still tight and everything and I've never had a problem with it I just like to check it every once in a while and every time I checked it yesterday, the bike is not wobbling as much because the truck is not as bumpy as it used to be. You know, the rear end has the new shocks and the airbags and the sway bar uh, bushings and links. And so a side benefit is I actually never saw the bike doing this. You know, it used to... Uh, you know, especially if we were going over some a rough patch of road, that's when I would always click on the camera if we were on some really rough road. And I would see the bike doing some wobbling and stuff. I have a anti-wobble device. The bike carrier came with, it's like an insert that slides into the receiver, and then instead of just a pin, it's actually a threaded bolt that goes in there. Um, and then I also added one of those U-bolt, plate mount anti-wobble devices so I have two things that help keep it steady but it always used to show some wobbling and yesterday every time I clicked on the camera the bike was not wobbling the rear shocks I think were the biggest improvement for the ride quality and when I put those rear shocks on and you know at the same time I did the bushings and the links in the back for the sway bar but that improved the ride so much. Those old shocks, even though when I took them out, they still seem to be gassed and oiled, whatever they are. They still seem to have that. These new shocks with those helper springs on them, and that was before I'd done the airbags, that really improved the ride, and it jacked up the back of the truck. So those Monroe load leveler shocks, I'm really happy with those. The differential, I just got to... You know, keep telling myself, it's all brand new parts, what can go wrong? New ring, new pinion, all new bearings, new seals, new fluid, everything is new in there. The only thing that's original is the carrier itself, the, you know, the, the track lock, and there was nothing wrong with that. It's got to be good, right? <laughs> sugar. Mm. Oh, that's good. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that's what it looks like. just kind of backed up in here. Jeff just drove over and got himself a cup of coffee. That's one of the benefits of sleeping at a 
stop like this. I'm really just trying to get back in the groove of things. <laughs> I've lost all my mojo as far as all my routines and what goes where and how to make coffee. <laughs> this is great. These two get along just like peas in a pod. There we go. We are uh, geared up, ready to rock. You ready to go? Okay. Jeff's ready to go. It's uh, 7.45. Later than I usually get rolling, but don't have to always do things in a hurry, right? just stopped. I stopped at a rest stop just a few miles back. I wanted to give Lefty his breakfast and such. And then we decided to come on down here and get another cup of coffee. So that's what we just did. So dog's got a stretch. Lefty's got his breakfast in him.
that's the first windmill we've seen. One of the one of the first, if not the first. truck went inside and brushed my teeth cleaned myself up so I look all pretty huh you having fun being in the truck so it's your go boy <laughs> still got your chicken with your breakfast this morning yeah huh see I still treat you so good you spoiled you big spoiled kisses thank you okay oh now I feel better you walk inside here and there's like Two pizza places, a Burger King, a Starbucks. It, it smells like <laughs> heaven. <laughs> I've done way too much of eating out when we were in New York, so I'm ready to start having some truck food again. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with truck food, right? You'll vouch for that. You had your warm chicken thigh and breakfast this morning. Well, we just... Uh, Got ourselves cleaned up. Taking a quick walk out here. They got a nice grass area next to this. This is a Ohio Turnpike Service Center. Not sure which one, but uh, Jeff needed to get some gas. So we swung in here. Okay, come on. Come on. This way. Okay. Time to get back on the road, brother.